last week, and she said to me just what I'm saying to you right now. I don't want to do it half-hearted anymore. I want all in. I want to follow Jesus completely from now on. I don't want to do it the old way anymore. I don't want to go. She started to describe to me that ever since she started coming to this church, that her life changed. She was in bed. She was depressed. She was gaining weight. She was bummed out. She didn't want to talk to nobody. She was dependent on another man. The man is gone. She got a job. She's happy. The people won't cuss in front of her anymore. And she just wants to be living for Jesus completely. And this, and she said, so I want to be baptized. I want all in. And that's what she's doing right here, right now. Do you get excited for her? Awesome. Why don't you move forward? Crisscross. You got anything valuable in your pockets? Nothing. Okay, want to sit? Awesome. Would you guys pray with me, please? Awesome moment. Awesome moment. Remember I said a little bit ago that when you publicly announce, you're saying, I'm part of your family now, and I want to be held accountable to what the words of Scripture say for my life. I'm part of your family now. You're part of her family now. To love her. To lead her. To help her. Right? That's what we're here for. And God chose this church. He called her here. She is heeding the call. The scriptures say that my sheep, they hear my voice and they follow me. This is his little sheep. And she's following his voice. Father, I thank you for Eunice. I thank you for your clear message. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in her life. We all do. We ask, Lord, that you would continue to lead her. Let every day of her life, every single day, let her hear your voice. Above and beyond all the other voices that are vying for her attention. Lord, let today be her declaration that she is taking all of her old life and she is burning it, leaving it for dead, and following you. Bless her, Lord. Be her strength. Be her protection, her provider, the lover of her soul, her husband. Love her like crazy and help her walk your will every day of her life. Eunice, who is your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. And based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ. And like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Awesome. She was doing this, but I just want to tell you all right now, the water's warm and ready for you. Maybe there's someone here in the room right now that has said, I want to follow Jesus, but they've never been out here to publicly declare, this is who I am. The old is dead, behold the new person. And so, listen, I want to invite you to come right now, because you don't know what effect that has, like we just read. A powerful and wide effect on the community around when someone stands up and says, I am a follower of Jesus. And the scriptures, Jesus says, if you're not ashamed of me before men, I won't be ashamed of you with my father. When you show up at the gates, I'm going to tell dad, yeah, he or she, that was me. Come on in. So I just want to invite you to come right now. And, and don't, don't say, I didn't bring any clothes. I don't want to ruin the seat of my car. Remember the sorcerers? They burned books that were worth millions. Millions. So, God's calling. The question is, do you heed his voice? Will you heed his voice now? I'm going to extend an invitation. If you want to be baptized, you can come do that right here, right now. Maybe you were baptized as a kid. Someone dunked you or sprinkled water in your head when you were six months old and you knew nothing of this choice that someone made for you. It's time for you to make the choice to follow Jesus on your own. 
Or maybe you did get baptized when you were an adult, but you never did this. You never got rid of your old life. And so maybe you really weren't what you thought you were, right? If anyone's in Christ, they're a new creation. The old is gone. Well, maybe the old hasn't been gone, right? Maybe you're still doing the same stuff, thinking the same way, doing the same things. Round and round, round and round like a cat chasing his tail, back to the same sin, back to the same habit, the same pattern. And you want to burn your bridges and start afresh. We're going to sing some songs right now to Jesus. The first one is, I've decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. It's a song for today, right? It's a song for today. And if while we're singing, I'm going to be standing right here still. And while we're singing that, while you're singing that to the Lord, if you, if the Lord impresses on your heart, you know what, today's the day I'm going to burn my bridges and I'm going to pick up my cross and I'm going to follow you. And I want to start by making a public declaration that that's who I am. I'm going to be standing right here. So let's go ahead and sing to the Lord. And I just want to say that I'm not doing an offering right now, but we obviously encourage giving. And so